Why is our study important? Well, to meet international climate targets, we need to reduce our emissions of greenhouse gases by a half within the next decade. So this is going to require an unprecedented uh, and rapid transformation of the way we supply, distribute and use energy. And in our research, we asked the question, should we be prioritizing large scale ways of doing that? Or should we be focusing on smaller scale uh, options available? So if you think about some of the large scale, low carbon technologies, you might think about nuclear power, carbon capture and storage, uh, high speed uh, transit systems, large uh, skyscraper retrofits and so on. Or, or you might think of more what we call granular alternatives that tend to be uh, smaller in size, uh, lower in cost and more modular. So they tend to scale not by getting bigger, but by replicating. So think about things like solar panels, batteries, uh, heat pumps, smart thermostats in homes, electric bikes, uh, and so on for getting us around uh, in cities. So what did we find? We found that more granular uh, alternatives outperformed the lumpy technologies uh, in nine important ways. So first, we found that more granular technologies deploy faster. Second, we found more granular technologies are less risky. Uh, third, we found more granular technologies improve faster in both cost and performance. We found that more granular technologies have shorter lifetimes and are less complex. Uh, we also found more granular technologies offer us more scope for reducing energy demand. But access to more granular technologies was more equitable. We found that more granular technologies created more jobs overall. And we found that more granular technologies provide higher returns on the money invested in innovation by the public sector. Smaller scale technologies are actually much better placed to deliver the rapid change which we need. Decarbonisation is not about, or not solely about, big new shiny infrastructure costing millions and billions invested by someone else, somewhere else. Uh, it's very much within all of our reach.